I'm back. We're doing a video um, on a specific thing that I was asked about. I had explained how easy swapping an interior was at some point in one of my videos from one truck to another. I'm going to use an SCS interior and show you how easy it is with basically just a text editor called Notepad++. So let's check it out. Um, what we are going to do is we're taking I've made a folder in my mod testing folder called new Pete underscore exp just so it seems like it's the converter picks like it was a converted to middle format that way I know what, what kind of folder it is uh, I'm going to open that up I'm going to put the shared files in it Um, and then we're going to go here to the 389 EXP. And this is what we're going to do. I don't need trailer. Delete. Okay, so this is the same folder. So new Pete, this is 389 vehicle truck. New Pete vehicle truck. So in here we need to create new whoops new Pete and then we need to create interior so it matches like that interior interior and here's all your stuff right so we're gonna copy all this paste it in here Okay. Now you might need, um, I'm going to say you might need details probably. So we might have to go back out here and go to details, chrome, maybe chassis, definitely color. All right, so we want to hold on to those, and we're going to put those out here. Now you're saying to yourself, you, all you're doing is just copying and pasting like this. It can't be that easy. It's almost that easy. Okay. Um, so we've copied this here, right? So if I open... Um, if I open this TOBJ, it's going to be in plain text, okay? So right up here, you're going to see it's looking for vehicle, truck, Peterbilt, underscore 3D9, interior, carpet, dark, right? So that's this file right there. But it's not in Peterbilt 389. It's in New Pete. So what are we going to do? What do we do about that? I'll tell you what you do about that. you change this so all your TOBJs are in one spot and you open them all up I don't want to do a scan what are you talking about all right so we've done all we've opened all of them up select Peterbilt 389 press control H replace with new Pete replace all save all close all huh 
Except it didn't do anything. Uh, -huh. uh let's see. Hold on. We're going to do this. Actually, we just don't need that. Select this. It's because I didn't press the right button. Control H. Replace all in open documents is this one you're supposed to press, not this one. So it says replaced in open tw files 29 occurrences were replaced. So now we can save all and close all. And you can see all, they all have a timestamp of today. 9, 6, 10 p.m. So, um, now you're thinking, wow, really? And I'm saying, yes, really. Now, I can go like this and do the same with these. Control H, replace all and open documents, six done, save all, close all all changed right there. Now, the other thing you have to do is go into the pit, pit pim. I don't know why I didn't copy the model pim. Oh, it's right there. Woo. I'm losing it. Okay. So now we open this and this. Now, so this is the pit PIM. This is the stuff that gets converted into the PMD or PMG. I forget exactly which. Um, but it's plain text in the middle format. So we're going through here and we're looking for this right here. See that? It's still looking this the the pim is still looking for that folder. So again, replace all in open documents. Look at that. They're all changed. Every single one. I just like to scroll through and make sure. So it's looking for a paint job, so we'll have to move that paint job over. I don't think that the paint job really matters too much, but just in case. All right, so that one's done. Now like, let's look over here. New Pete, new Pete, new Pete, new Pete. All right. Perfect. Save those. Just to make sure I check the PIMs as well. No, I don't want to do that. I want to open. I believe these just show the textures, but they don't show specifically the folders. These are just the locators. Yeah, so we're good. Excellent.
Okay, perfect. All right, so those are all set. I don't think the pick has anything that we need. Nope. All right, so now all of these files should be available to open in Blender. So now I should be able to go over here and change this to mod testing new Pete and then we're going to go import and new Pete vehicle truck new Pete interior model might get an error because of the paint job Yeah, so we're getting an error from the paint job. But otherwise, everything's all assigned. So. Yeah, it's missing paint job and flake noise and the stupid. Um, weight checker thing that's on the dashboard over here this thing so otherwise all the textures are there look at that new Pete interior leather light seat zero seat in etc etc all there so now we have all we'd have to do is put that paint job in and then once you do that you have um, you have an interior assigned to a different folder with all the necessary files in it and all you did was copy paste essentially um, so all I would do is just point this to another paint job or create a blank file here or whatever um, just to get through it. And then you just need to add the WPASS info on that or delete the model either way. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward to be frankly honest. But that's how you do it in text editing, which is really one of the best features of this, especially if you're trying to look for if you want to custom up this interior but you don't want to screw up the 389 like for the game you just make your own file and make everything point to it in the defs um, and then you're you're rocking and rolling and you got your own interior that isn't going to screw up whatever SCS does so if you want to kind of put all kinds of hanging things and curtains and all this and then you know that time when you're when you're like, oh wow, this is this is really great, and they update the game, and then all of a sudden you can't use your truck anymore because the interior is broken, that won't happen if you export it to a different thing and then point the defs to it because it's it doesn't care. It's going to be its own its own little thing. So, but yeah, that's what uh that's what moving an interior is all about. That's this is not counting the animations, so you can move the animations afterwards, the PMAs, um, or you can um, extract them manually like I've showed in a previous video um, and then this will reconvert them back after you save it to PMD, PMG. So yeah, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps you out, uh, especially for those that are looking to do some interior work on stuff that uh, isn't necessarily uh, you don't want to do the stock truck or you're trying to put a, you know either the Kenworth or the Pete in another model and keep it as that model and export it 
properly to the same folder instead of using a you know the 389 interior um yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward excuse me it's getting late over here so um yeah i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time